Hello and welcome to the 19th tutorial in Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 and today we're going to be learning about functions so this is basically just a second part to the subs because basically a function is the same as a sub but the only difference is a function returns a value and the sub doesn't now you're going to be thinking well what the hell does that mean well I'm going to show you now. So create a new project and call it functions and when I said I'm going to find a more creative way to put my well to teach you guys about this stuff <coughs> I've thought of a more creative way but instead of showing a message box I'm going to actually change the text in a label so just first of all add a button and then add a label up here Make the button a bit bigger. Okay, so in the text in button one, change it to use function and just put it underneath the label one. Okay, now you're going to need to double click use function. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is declare a string. So dim string, whoops, dim we'll call it label text as string equals functions are cool lol okay so now we've done that what we want to do is create a function so to create a function all I need to do is type func well, a private function and the difference between a private function and a public function is private functions can only be used in the class this class here so if you declare a private one it can't be used outside of this class it does, you don't really need to understand that right now I'll actually talk about that more when I'm ha in my other tutorials but right now you don't really need to know about it so we'll just have the private function and then we'll call it change label text and then here we have the end function now you notice this little green line and the text says function change label text doesn't return a value that's why I was telling you before functions return values and subs don't so what we're going to type here is return label text so this all return means is it's going to return the value of label text so now in button one dot click, if you lost and it looks a bit weird, then let's go back here and double click this, and there we have button one dot click. In this button one dot click, we'll type label one dot text equals change label text, and this may not seem too creative either, com but compared to the message box one, that was getting a bit boring. So. Basically, what this is going to do is first it declares label text as a string, which is functions are cool lol. Then it creates the private function change label text, and that returns label the value of label text. And then back down here, private sub button one click, it's going to change the label one text to change label text, which is this function. Now that may seem a little confusing, a little hard to understand, but there's not much else I can say about functions really uh, that's all there is except that what goes here the by value and by reference which I'll actually teach you about oh, no, sorry it goes here I'll teach you about that in probably the tutorial after this maybe a few more down the line I do have it planned but I can't really cover it today it takes a lot so yeah that's all you need to know really if you don't understand it then just watch the video over and let me just test this out this should change the label text there we go functions are cool well so if you have any questions about this then just please leave a comment if you have any suggestions about how I create my tutorials and leave a comment also and if you have any suggestions for a tutorial you would like made then leave a comment too so rate the video and subscribe for many more tutorials and thanks for watching.